On the phone right now, Rex Remedio. He's still at the Manila Police District. Rex, what else can you tell us? Well, uh, John Paul Solano, one of the primary suspects in the hazing of uh, first-year law student Horacio Castillo, uh, is now undergoing uh, booking procedures as part of the due process for arrested suspects. I will just tell more about uh, his arrival. Uh, his convoy entered the back gate of uh, MPD, the security site. He was uh, brought fast to the uh, homicide division of MPD, as you saw in the uh, live pictures. Um, now, the, the police will also take uh, his mugshot, fingerprints, and other relevant information. He will also undergo inquest proceedings, although uh, we have yet to know where he'll, he will be detained. The Manila Police District says uh, Solano can give vital information on the participation of other fraternity members into the hazing of Horacio Castillo, although they will also file uh, charges of perjury and violation of anti-hazing law. Margarejo also says that uh, he can be possibly a state witness if it will be proven he is not the most guilty. He can tell who are the frat members that were in the area where the hating of Castillo happened on Saturday evening. Solano was the so-called good Samaritan who brought Castillo to the Chinese General Hospital. Well, he said uh, he was a medical technology student and he did not know Castillo. Uh, he earlier claimed in his sworn affidavit that he found Castillo at a street corner in Tondo, Manila on Sunday morning. But this uh, story is disputed by barangay officials. They say there was no body dump in that area. And this motivated the MPD to file perjury charges against Solano. See ya. All right, Rex uh, Remito reporting there from the Manila Police District where 